Hey everyone, welcome to Build with Jay. So today we are going to see how we can programmatically create IAM roles policies and we will use those IAM role and policy to create an AWS Lambda and we'll see how we can invoke that AWS Lambda using Boto3. So initially we will use Boto3 which is Python's library to create an IAM role and we will create an IAM policy and through the IAM uh, Boto3 we will attach the policy to the role and using the role in the end we will create an AWS Lambda and we will invoke that AWS Lambda using Boto3 again in Python. So let's go to our AWS console and let's go to our Lambda page. As we can see I don't have any Lambda functions created yet and I don't have the roles or anything now. I already have created an user where I got the credentials AWS key and secret key and secret ID which I believe you will do by yourself before you start this demo and here I have my lambda function this lambda handler is our lambda function which will accept an event and a context so here in this uh, functions context we are connecting to S3 using Boto3's resource method and we are going to query all the objects in a corresponding s3 bucket so this is our bucket now so we will make sure that we will connect to this s3 bucket and we will loop all over all the objects inside that bucket and we will print that buckets out so this is the lambda function which i have already placed it in an s3 bucket here which i have zipped the function and i placed it in one of the buckets so this is the bucket and i have placed the lambda function here and this is our bucket that we are going to query where we have a file called lambda function.py which is of 341k bytes so let me go back to my code editor here we have a trust relationship document which is needed to create an IAM role here this relationship document is allowing us to assume a role for lambda function this can be used as an execution role for the lambda and we have a policy document which have allow functions for S3's list bucket and get bucket actions on the corresponding S3 bucket that we just saw. I placed the AR in here. So let's get back into our code editor and uh, let's import the necessary packages first. We need time as well. So we have our necessary packages so let's define a s3 session where we can connect to an s3 bucket so uh, s3 console so i'm using config parser because i have placed my secrets in a separate file config.ini through the config parser i'm reading the secrets into this python file and i'm placing everything in the session here so let's create a class to get our use case running so i'm going to create a class called lambda sample i have already created this class and i'm going to simply paste everything here in order to demo it for you guys so for this class i'm going to call this as a lambda sample and this will have a default initialization method which accepts the lambda name role name and policy name so first thing we need to do is create an uh, aws role iam role so here we have an AWS create role method which is creating a AWS session on IAM. So using this session we are calling the create role method on top of this client. So this create role method will accept a role name, a policy document which is a trust relationship JSON file, description this is optional and tax these are optional as well. So in order to pass the policy document, I'm first opening the document using Python's open method and I'm loading this file, which is again a JSON file. But in order to make this as a JSON, I'm loading it. And again, using this variable, I'm dumping it into JSON to make sure that the format is compliant with the JSON and the method will treat this file as a JSON file. So this will return us the role ARN, which we'll use in the upcoming methods to create other uh, needed things so the next thing would be to create a policy the syntax and the approach is same for create policy as well we are calling the client on IAM again we are loading the 
policy document and we are on top of create policy we need to pass policy name policy document which is nothing but the JSON document that we have description and tax and this will return the policy ARN as well so now since we have our role and policy it's time for us to attach the role policy to the role so I have created one more method which will attach the AWS policy here it will accept the policy ARN which is the return of our AWS create policy method so we will use that and pass it as a policy ARN in the bucket this will accept the role name the name role name is the name of the role which wants the policy to be attached to itself and the policy ARN is the policy that we want to attach it to the role and uh, I'm simply returning the status code to see if the policy attaching is successful or not I'm not interested in any of the other return values of this method so now it's time to create the lambda function so I have created uh, one more method called create lambda which accept the role ARN from the very first method that we created this will return the role, role ARN right so we'll use this role ARN and we will pass it to the lambda session so here I'm creating client again for naming lambda session on top of it I'm using the create function of this client this will take the function name the name of the lambda function runtime like which programming language and version you want this lambda to be running on handler handler is nothing but the method name that we are using so it is like this so lambda function is our file name and lambda handler is the handler name so you have to pass the handler in such a way that the file name and the handler name should be uh, next to each other and i'm passing the role arn description again is mandatory uh, time out you have to pass depending on how long you think your program is going to run memory size is up to the task which is task specific again here we are passing the tags these are optional and in the code we are passing the s3 bucket name and the s3 bucket file the s3 key which is nothing but the s3 bucket file where our code resides which is in the uh, s3 bucket right we have already zipped our function and we have placed it in here so i'm just passing that here so this will return the function ARN using this function ARN we will call the invoke method on top of the AWS client so we will call the invoke method we will pass the lambda ARN which we got from the previous method and we will invocation type is request response which is nothing but I request and the lambda will give the response once it is done if not you can use other methods like async and there are many other methods you can just check out the documentation if you wish to explore on this so as we have our class defined now let's initialize this class let's name this class training so this is nothing but the class which accepts the name of the lambda name of the role and name of the policy this is up to you you can pass anything that you wish the next thing is to create a role and we are calling the AWS create role method on top of this class I'm assigning to RARN and next is to create a policy same approach I'm taking and I'm attaching the policy to the role right so I'm calling this with the policy ARN that is needed to in order to call this uh, method on the class and after the attachment is done I'm waiting for five seconds to ensure that the AWS reflects the changes in everywhere and then I'm creating the lambda using the role ARN from the first method and I'm adding it into a ARN variable and I'm using this lambda ARN and I'm invoking it and I'm placing the return type into an invoke status method in the end we can simply call the read method on the top of this payload to see what is happening in the code so yeah let's see what this does and let's try running this function So first we should see the role name which is correct policy name is happening and we are able to see 200 which is nothing but the success status that the policy is attached to the role uh, the role defined to the function cannot be assumed by the lambda okay why is this uh, okay my bad it is taking more than five seconds in order to the policy attachment to the role to be reflected so I have added five more seconds here in between the wait 
so we'll wait for 10 seconds after the policy at at is attached to the role and then we'll call the create lambda function which will eventually work that is what i just checked so i can see the role is created policy is done the policy attached to the role is successful we got 200 now let's wait for 10 seconds and we should see that the lambda arn back yeah we got the lambda arn and we should see the invocation response as well so we have the response from the lambda invoke so now let's go back to our aws console if i refresh i should see the lambda here and i should see the iam role so we have the policy and we should see the role i have the role the role has the policy attached and we have the trust relationship we have the demo tags as well and now let's go back to our lambda so we have the lambda code with from the s3 bucket let's try testing this and compare the response that we got in the local let's name this a test event save and let's run test the response should match the response that we got from the lambda yes they are matching right so uh, i hope this was useful for you guys please do subscribe if you found this useful and leave a comment if you have any specific use case in mind that you want me to demonstrate and release the video in near future and uh, yeah that's about it guys thanks for sticking around till the end have a good day